Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Po Boy's Little Homestead slash Papa's Place. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Guys, today it is tater planting time. Yes, it is. And guys, I done planted my tractor bed over there, a tractor tire bed, I mean, and my other tire bed over there, which is where these red Lesotho potatoes was grown last year. And I attach a short little clip here where y'all can see that. But I bought some new seed potatoes and planted in them beds over there a couple weeks ago. But my in-ground garden over here was a little too wet and we've been getting rain, so I'm a little later getting these planted. But you can see, I ain't gonna cut these Lesotho potatoes. I'm gonna plant them whole because I got enough to do this whole row right here. They, they pretty shriveled up, but we're gonna see what they'll grow us out here. So y'all just have to follow along and see how they done. Like I said, I got a whole box, so I know I got plenty to do this one row. Now this is my outside, my outside, I call it in-ground gardening, and you can see I got ground cover over it, and I got drip irrigation buried under the ground. Now I know a lot of people say, well, you don't plant your potatoes on drip irrigation. Well, I already had all this set up, but I got a vial right here on each one of my lines where I ain't got to water this when I'm watering my watermelons. And and that's why I put a vial on there because the first couple of rows is going to be okra and then something else. I can't, I don't know what all I'm going to put. And then it's going to be watermelons and cantaloupes. So that's why I put these vials. And I'll show y'all up close here. But that's the cut off vials on each drip irrigation line. You can just turn and cut it off or cut on and off what row you want. All right, guys, y'all can see. I came out here and I run my tiller down each side of there just to make sure it was going to be dry enough today to get started. And in this little road right here, my drip irrigation, I ain't going to plant my potatoes on top of the drip irrigation. It's going to be right down beside of it. And what my game plan is, which I've already done, I sprinkled me a little triple 13 right down that row. Triple 13 fertilizer. Put my potatoes right down that row and i'm gonna use this dirt on this side to cover my potatoes and then when they start coming up i need to heal i can retill this dirt on this side over here in that furrow and pull it over and have that for my healing dirt but while i'm planting these potatoes and doing all that i wrote a little potato planting song last year and i'm gonna play it for y'all while y'all watch me get these potatoes planted well, it's a one for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready, now let's all go to the garden. Plant them taters today. We got to get them taters all planted today. Well, some say potatoes, I say taters. One thing for sure, they not tomatoes, let's go. Water and watch it sprout up and 
guys, that's a 30 foot row of potatoes planted. And you seen me, I went down there and I got some and started spacing them out. I had my spacing because I wanted to use them all. So I got some. Once I spaced them together, I come back and took the rest of them, the smaller ones, and just put in between there. So maybe they'll grow us some kind of potatoes. <laughs> we'll see for 40 years up what they do. But what did y'all think about that little tune I come up with? I don't think it ever make no hit or nothing to y'all. <laughs> But sometimes I just sit around and have crap going through my head and then I go in and write it down and make up some more to go with it. But guys, that's my potato plant. I'm gonna take y'all over here and show you my tractor tire, my other little tire, my bed I got that I planted a couple weeks ago. I think I seen one this morning already starting to pop a little bit. We're gonna go check it out. And guys, this right here is the tractor tire. And you can see there's one popping right there already, two. There's some right here. So they starting to pop. <clears throat> and here's my little 18 wheeler tire that I cut the side walls out. Now of course that right there is that old grass that you can't get rid of, but there's potatoes popping here too. So we're gonna have two beds of potatoes and a 30 foot row. And guys, that tractor tire right there, that's where them potatoes we just planted on that row, all of them come from last year. What I had left over in the house that let go to seed potatoes. And we're gonna try them and see what they do. Now I'll attach a video above of the harvest when I harvest them potatoes out of that one tractor tire, how many I got, if y'all wanna go back and watch it. So guys, that's the end of the little video today. I just wanted to get my potatoes planted today while it was dry enough to get them planted. But if you're a new viewer and you haven't never subscribed, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get notifications whenever I put up new videos. Don't cost you a thing to subscribe. Please like and share. That's the best way you can help me grow this channel. And I'm gonna attach below my website's www.poorboyslittlehomestead.com. Please go check it out. I finally got my website finished. You can go hit the shop button and go to the merch. And I'm trying to get it out there that my merch ain't just stuff for Poor Boys Little Homestead on it. I'm trying to do some merch with different sayings and t-shirt sayings and stuff like that. And I have some grandkids stuff on there for you. You who got grandkids you might like. Or your kids, you might like to buy for your kids. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. As always, y'all have a great day. God bless. See y'all next time.